Chapter 53, The Only Way Jasmine had not gone far, she could vaguely hear the servant reporting to Li Yao Yao. As Zhu Fangxin had instructed her to pay attention to Li Yao Yao's every move, she followed behind curiously. She saw Li Yao Yao get into a luxurious carriage, and there seemed to be someone in the carriage. As for who it was, she had no idea. When did Li Yao Yao meet such a big shot? She had to tell the young miss quickly. Zhu Fangxin slept until late in the morning. After waking up, she learned from Jasmine that Li Yao Yao had boarded a luxurious carriage, but she did not take this matter to heart. She didn't even know who was in the carriage, so what could she do, even if she took it to heart? Li Yao Yao had been rummaging through the house recently. She must be looking for something. What exactly was it, miss, something bad has happened. Come out and take a look. The butler suddenly ran to Zhu Fangxin's room. In his panic, he didn't even knock on the door, directly shouting from the outside. The elites of the Zhu family army who were sent to buy medicine for the duke were killed on the way back. There were heavy casualties, and only Zhu Fang came back with heavy injuries. What did you say? Zhu Fangxin was eating her lunch in the room. When she heard the butler's words, her appetite vanished. She immediately put down the bowl and chopsticks in her hand and ran out to see what was going on. The Zhu family army's young general, Zhu Feng, was currently lying on a stretcher, his body covered in blood. His injuries were too heavy, and he had already fallen unconscious. He had relied on his tough willpower to last until now. After giving him a quick checkup, she immediately took out silver needles to treat him and used a golden needle technique to stop his bleeding. Fortunately, she had prepared silver needles when she saved her grandfather yesterday. Otherwise, she would not have been able to treat Zhu Feng immediately. With his injuries, he would have definitely died if she were a few moments late. However, relying on the golden needle technique alone was not enough. He had to rely on medicinal pills to survive. There was no medicine in the entire Imperial City's medical stores. Even if there was, the stores probably would not sell to them. If this continued, not only would Zhu Feng die, but even her grandfather would suffer the same fate. The Emperor wanted her grandfather's life. He was really a hateful dog, Emperor. No matter what, she had to think of a way to save her grandfather and Zhu Feng. Butler, I've already stopped the bleeding for him. He's barely hanging on. Get someone to carry him into the house and help him change into clean clothes. He'll think of a way to deal with the rest. Miss, thank God you're here. Otherwise, the Duke's estate would have long collapsed, said the butler with a sigh. If Zhu Fangxin was still the naive and stupid little girl from before, after Zhu Baishin's ambush, there would no longer be a person in charge of the Duke's estate. Who knew how chaotic it would be, then? Perhaps everyone would disperse or leave. Don't worry, it'll make the Duke's estate get through this difficult time. Zhu Fangxin did not say much to the butler. After giving him some instructions, she returned to her room and asked Jasmine to think of a way to find her some stealth clothing. All the major medicinal stores in the Imperial City had medicine. However, the Imperial family did not let them sell it to the Duke's estate, so they could not buy it. Zhu Baishin's medicine was almost finished. She had to get it as soon as possible. Judging from the current situation, the best and fastest way was to steal. Fortunately, in order to train herself in the past, she often ran to some heavily guarded places to practice. From time to time, she would take away some good things and accidentally trained herself to be a good thief. Now, it happened to come in handy.